using infrared satellites, every rocket and missile launch anywhere in the world is immediately tracked here. Missile warning officer, brief situation. This is the missile warning officer at a time of 0938 Zulu. At the U.S. Space Command Joint Operations Center in Colorado Springs. That scene comes from a new NBC documentary called Battlefield Space to the Moon and Beyond. The documentary gives an inside look into the headquarters for the U.S. Space Force as we prepare for a return to the moon. And joining us now, the man behind the documentary, NBC's Tom Costello. We always have to say, former Nine Newser, we don't want to just give NBC all the credit. Um, but Tom, we know you've spent a lot of time here in Colorado on space-related coverage. Yes, that's right. On space issues. Yeah. So tell us about our unique ties, Colorado, to this documentary. Well, Space Command is based in Colorado Springs. We were the first cameras ever allowed inside Space Command to see them in action. And what they do, as I said just there in that clip, is they watch every rocket launch, every missile launch anywhere in the world. It could be Taiwan, it could be Ukraine, it could be Russia. They know where every single one of them is. Separately, we've also been down to uh, the Space Force headquarters in Colorado Springs and they've got a very big job among the jobs that they have. They watch every GPS satellite because the military controls all GPS satellites that then provide that coverage to the whole world. But we are in a very, very precarious situation right now because we've already seen Russia and China fire on and blow up their own satellites in space to create massive debris fields. And really, that was a display of offensive capabilities. The concern is, if things got rough between us and the Chinese or the Russians, that they could turn those offensive capabilities on American satellites. And so we talked to generals about exactly that concern. What I ask, do we have offensive capabilities? The United States, the top four-star commanding general say, I would rather not answer that. Read into that however you want. But it's, we got unprecedented access over the last year looking at America's space program, not just NASA, but also the military components as we do go from Earth to low Earth orbit and then to the moon. And the, you know, the Chinese have already built a robotic base on the far side of the moon and are talking about their own astronauts on the moon right after we put ours there in the next five years. Tom, some of us remember all the way back to Mercury and the space race, and it was always thought that space was, in fact, the military high ground. And then for decades, it seemed like more that, that space was more about science, technology, exploration. Is this arcing back into something where military high yeah. ground that that space is becoming a, a, a future or seen as a future battlefield? Well, that's the concern. And when I've talked to military commanders, they say yes. In fact, yes, space is now a potential battlefield, which is really disheartening for those of us who grew, grew up idolizing Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin and Captain Kirk, for that matter. Mm -hmm. Right. You want it mm -hmm. to be someplace that is that is, in fact, for peaceful means. However, there's a space between the Earth and the moon. It's called cis lunar. And that is the area right now where the concern is that Chinese want to put some sort of capability. You could decide what kind of capability, but any capability that potentially would include an, a, a weapon is of concern to the United States. So now the U.S. is rushing satellites into Cislunar, and there's a company there in Colorado in Westminster. I was just there uh, profiling them, and they have now put a very small satellite about the size of a microwave into Cislunar orbit around the moon, and part of their job is to watch to see what the Chinese are doing. So it's already happening and it's happening uh, at a very, very quick clip. And that's where we're that's where we're going with this documentary. And I should tell you, it's streaming on NBC News now live. It's also on YouTube. It's called Battlefield Space and it's on Peacock. So we've gotten a lot of you know, we're taking full advantage of all of our platforms at NBC News. That's what we're going to ask you. Great well, chance that's for great. people to catch the, uh, the show, certainly learn a lot about space. Tom, it's always good to visit with you. Have a great Christmas, and we look forward to seeing you again back here in Colorado real soon. Thanks.